Let's get straight to the point. If there's anything we learned in the past couple of years, it's that there's nothing more important than our health and well-being. But hey, there's more to staying healthy than face masks and hand sanitizers. It's all about making good life choices and being consistent because honestly, health is a state of mind and body. I'm Cian Lim and this is The Good Home. Before we move on any further, let's make one thing clear. Every change we make in the way we live is a work in progress and change takes time. So guys, start by setting small goals that you can get behind. By setting goals and committing to them, you allow yourself to take control of your life. So strive for the best version of yourself and invest in your wellness and fitness. In today's episode, we will be exploring the kitchen because making healthy choices in your diet is the path to improve health. By being aware of what we put in our body, we learn to understand and develop healthy habits that will help us feel good about ourselves. Whether you're dining on your own or with friends and family, always make an effort to prepare home-cooked meals. This will give you more control of what you eat and it's also a good way to flex the gadgets and tools you have in your kitchen. Today, I'm going to share with you how I manage to eat healthy even when I'm busy. But before I do, how about giving us a like and consider subscribing to our official YouTube channel at the official SMDC. It's always satisfying to have everything organized, especially when you have a full day schedule to look forward to. So no matter what size your kitchen is, always make room for a pantry. Take inventory of the items that you have so you can plan your meals easier and make trips to the supermarket more efficient. When it comes to kitchen gadgets, Plato had it right. You have to know yourself and that means knowing what kind of cook you are. If your skill level only takes you as far as making sandwiches, then having a toaster is essential. But if you're an aspiring chef, then a food processor is your perfect partner. If you like smoothies in the morning, a blender is a must-have. But if you're a coffee lover, then having a coffee maker or a French press helps. Always store your gadgets inside cabinets or display them on your shelves or counter when not in use. Keep your kitchen tools in jars where you can reach them easily for faster meal prep. So now let me show you a quick and easy recipe that will elevate your usual stir fry into something special. The dish is a perfect balance of sweet and spicy, satisfying and healthy. We will need half a kilo of skinless chicken, thigh filet, chopped into bite-sized pieces. Next up, we have a tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce, half a tablespoon of sesame oil, half a tablespoon of canola oil, one red onion, chopped, one tablespoon of grated fresh ginger, two cups of chicharro, one mango, chopped, one tablespoon of chili garlic sauce. Black pepper to taste. Like all stir fry dishes, this is relatively easy to make. All right, first we combine the chicken, cornstarch, soy sauce, and sesame oil in a mixing bowl and let it marinate for 10 minutes. Cornstarch. Sesame oil. Soy sauce. Sweet! At halu-haluin natin para mag-fuse yung flavor. Max. And you let it marinate for 10 full minutes. 
Up next, let's heat the canola oil in a wok or frying pan. Add the onion and ginger and cook for one to two minutes until the onion is translucent. Add the chicharro and stir fry for about a minute. Ayan, medyo nagsisisil na ipasok na natin yung manok. Our chicken marinade in and stir for about a minute or two. Yon! Halu-haluin ninyo hanggang maging brown. Malakas na pumutok ang mantika, ah! Pasarap ni Re! Once the meat turns brown, add the mango, chili sauce, and black pepper and stir-fry for a minute more until the chicken is cooked through and you can see the mango soften. Once it's cooked, you can serve this over brown rice for an even healthier treat. Since it's so easy to prepare, you can quickly cook this in the morning and take it with you to eat during lunch. Or you can serve this for dinner after a long work day since it won't take too much of your time. When planning your meals, it's always good to be mindful of how your nutrition impacts you. Most of the time, we turn to dieting whenever we gain weight from our unhealthy food choices. But try to understand your body and how you feel. Sometimes we're just craving for something because we're either bored or sad. When this happens, drink a glass of water and see if you're still hungry. And guys, Drinking at least eight glasses of water is the real deal. Don't you notice that you often get headaches or muscle cramps when you're not drinking enough? So make it a habit to stay hydrated. But going back, I highly encourage you to experiment in your kitchen. Again, it's all about being aware of your body and what works for you. Check what food and portion sizes bring optimal results. You can even write a food journal if that helps. Hey, no one needs to know, right? So start with the number of meals you have to prepare in a week. If you're eating three times a day, that's 21 meals. If you're working on a budget, plan with a theme. Think of one ingredient that you can use throughout the week. For example, you can buy a whole chicken, cut it into portions, and look up different ways to serve it. You can even eat leftovers for lunch or dinner the next day. Your kitchen, your call. For most of us, breakfast is probably the most stressful when it comes to meal prep because mornings are usually busy. If you're pressed for time, you can have the same breakfast every day. But it doesn't mean having the same ingredients though. For example, you can have smoothies every day for a week using a variety of fruits and vegetables. Here's a simple smoothie recipe that you can try. Are you ready? You will need. 3 fourths cup unsweetened almond milk, 1 large banana cut into chunks and frozen, 2 tablespoons creamy peanut butter, 1 half cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and 1 fourth teaspoon ground cinnamon. Alright, gagawin mo lang. Pasok mo lahat ng ingredients. Make sure your blender is ready and be careful. Pasok natin lahat. If you want some chia seeds, then add them last. Pang malakasan! Nagustuhan nyo ba yung pinanood ninyo? If you guys like it, then please like and subscribe to our official YouTube channel at the official SMDC for more of The Good Home. 
Cheers, guys. There's more to eating healthy than a slim waist and lean toned arms. It's all about increasing your energy levels so you can go about your day and lowering the risk of you getting sick. Remember, there is nothing more important than taking care of ourselves. So take charge of your life and start feeling good about the choices that you make. Allow yourself to find enjoyment in your everyday and keep living the good home experience. <laughs>